Um, we're on the the agenda item that we're on here is like uh, update on Bremerton and City Council activities, and I have it's action item follow ups, and I have a few action items from the notes from last time that aren't specifically enumerated under A here, but I want to ask about them now. That's why I'm bringing it up now. So is this relevant to the July 27th study session presentation? No, that's what I'm saying. Anna, the enumerated the action item follow ups I have are not any one of those four bullet points, they are other action items that from last meeting that are Bremerton City Council activities related. They're just not bullet pointed out here. And so I'm bringing them up now because they're all related to things Quinn was gonna do. <laughs> and since Quinn, I raised my hand when Quinn was talking about various things he was following up on. So I wanted to find out about these as well. Well, I would suggest um, that Perhaps we get through the agenda that we've approved and then move on to your agenda items? They're not new, they're just action item follow-ups on Bremerton City Council activities. That's why I'm bringing it up now because that's the topic we're on is Bremerton City Council activities. Well, I would prefer to keep moving, but what's the consensus of the group? I'm fine with it, Aaron. Yeah, okay, please go ahead, Aaron. Okay, Quinn, one thing, the action item you had here was, um, Quinn was gonna tell city IT that community members on Bremerton React still have not been issued city email addresses in order to, so that we can access the gear portal. Yeah, that's under so, old business. Oh, it must, sorry if I'm not, I must not have seen it there. Okay, so never mind. we could talk about it there. Okay, you're and sure? There was one more and maybe I missed it elsewhere on the agenda was that was Quinn was gonna find out how our advice on anything related to the 2023 budget might fit into the finance committee's timeline of the budgeting process. Yes, uh, and Jennifer has some more information on this. She kind of took that task. Um, when we are gonna put forward a budget proposal for REACT um, at the next meeting on the agenda no, no, item. So not, a bu uh, not a budget for this committee, this action item was you were gonna find out how our advice on anything related to the 2023 budget would fit into the finance committee timeline for working that budget up. You're on mute. Sorry, maybe I'm misunderstanding the, the question, but the, the timeline for the finance committee regarding our advice or? Yeah, here, I'll say I'll state it a different way. So it's yeah, written right. in the notes from last time. So last time we were talking about how do we as REAC get advice to the city council, especially related to the budget for 2023, since that's where a lot of equity issues get implemented. And when we talked about that last meeting, somebody, I can't remember who said, well, the finance committee is the one that times out, timelines out the budgeting process. And so the action item you took away at the last meeting was that you were gonna find out how our advice that we want to give related to the 2023 budget, where it would need to fit within the finance committee's timeline for working on that budget document so that we aren't late to be able to give it, so that we don't go to give advice in December and they say, well, we're already too far past for advice like that. You were going to find out where in their timeline we would be able to give advice. Got you, got you. I, I see what you're saying now. Um, yeah, so one, the way that we get advice to city council um, and this has been explained to me by multiple people, is through the chair. So we have chair reports and committee reports, and that's the way that city council wants advice coming from any committees is through the chair uh, during their, their chair reports. As far as the budget cycle, um, it is gonna come out in October. Um, and so anything that we need to be doing for asking for any sort of budgeting process to get ahead of that, needs to be happening before the mayor uh, actually does it. And it looks like Christine has- um, The budget's posted 1019. Finance deadline for department budgets is July 28th. And so that's just department budgets, uh, Christine. Does that include any sort of committee budgets or- That's, we don't that's thank you, Chris. <laughs> that's what I'm asking for, Quinn. Thank you, Christine, because I wasn't talking about budget for this committee. Well, the thing that came up last meeting was when you look at a budget for a jurisdiction, at the deep level, what departments spend, what, what is spent everywhere, an equity analysis applies to it. 
And when that came up last meeting, somebody, it might have been Jennifer, I can't remember, said, it's really the finance committee that does the early work on drafting the budget. So we would need to find out from them at what point in their early work do they need to get advice on how to think of that with a race equity lens, right? And that's when you said you would go back to not the city council, but the finance committee to yeah. find yeah. out at what point in their process they that's need to get true. that deeper advice for us in order to implement it. And it sounds like what Christine is saying is that they're going to be doing their work on city department budgets, having the deadline on that July 28th, which leads me to what are we going to do in the next two weeks to try to bring some race equity lens to that work? Because that is where ultimately in the 2023 budget, we're going to be seeing either the money, frankly, like the resources to be put towards doing this or not. So we're going to be talking about when we get- Excellent. To, uh, sorry, I, I'm almost finished, Anna. When we get to talking about the January, the July 27th thing, we're going to be presenting to study session. Glenn is going to have some really good examples from the GARE resources that we want to point out to city council. Doing these things is going to match up with a lot of what community has been telling you. However, one of the things we noticed is nobody from Bremerton is even accessing that website or using it, engaging the forums, et cetera. And so if even something as simple as that, like if there has to be a certain little snippet of time that everybody who works in any department of the city can spend accessing the GEAR website, on a monthly or a weekly basis, that would be a thing that would need to be budgeted because that's part of their staff time, right? They would need to have permission to say, hey, a portion of your time, two hours a month or whatever, is dedicated to being able to use the resources on this website. Isn't that something we need to get into this early stage in the budgeting process? Can I just make a suggestion for down the line? Like next time we approve the agenda, if there's things you wanna put in the agenda, let's put them in at the beginning because at this point it's 6.52 and we're still halfway through an, an agenda item that has to end, is scheduled to end at 6.25. So I'm just suggesting that for down the line. Um, Quinn, yeah. this is obviously a conversation